Today, we got a rockin' recipe for you. This is watermelon gazpacho. It is a soup, originated in Spain, I believe, and it is fresh, cold, refreshing, and delicious. It's chock full of fresh vegetables that are raw, and we're gonna combine that with watermelon. And that's gonna give it a nice little sweetness to it. And we're gonna put that in a blender, blend it up, and it is so good. So if you've never had it, you've gotta try this. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. All right, I have a couple of chef jokes for you today, so here's the first one. What did the watermelon say to the honeydew when it proposed? Sorry, I can't elope. So we're gonna start off here with our watermelon. Try and find the ripest one you can, of course. And how do you tell? Well, you can feel it, and if it feels heavy for its size, then I think that's a good sign. I also like to give it the knock-knock test to see if it sounds hollow, and that usually helps. I'm gonna cut this in half, and then eventually I'm gonna cut up little chunks and place them into my four cup measuring cup here. And that's about what we want, a nice heaping four cups. So I'll go ahead and cut this in half, and then I'm gonna slice the watermelon up, and then we're gonna cut uh, the rind off of it by just slicing each end here. I'm gonna slice these into one inch strips and then chunks, and then I'll place it into the measuring cup. Once we get our four cups of watermelon cut up, then we'll move on to our tomatoes. Now my next ingredient is super important. If you have homegrown tomatoes, you're gonna wanna use them and you know why. And if you don't have them, find a friend who has some and get some of those because it, it makes so much of a difference. You wanna use two tomatoes here, but if they're small, go ahead and use three. So I'm gonna chop these up and place them right into my Vitamix mixer. Next up, we're gonna add a half of a red onion. So I like to cut this small because depending on the blender you have, you may not be able to break it down as well as the Vitamix. So make some horizontal cuts and then make some vertical cuts. And then when you slice it, it's already into a nice dice. And then we'll toss that into the blender. Now it's time for our red organic bell pepper. Now we'll give that a little chop to give our blender a little head start. The beauty of this recipe is that everything's going in the blender. Next up, we're gonna add some fresh garlic and you wanna remove the paper on this. So just cut off the end and then smash it with your knife and that coating should come right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up before I put it in the blender because well, who likes big chunks of garlic and I wanna make sure they're small. All right, it's cucumber time, and I'm using an English cucumber here because the seeds are pretty much non-existent. I'll be using half of this, so I'm gonna cut the cucumber in half and then remove that plastic coating. I'll remove the end, and then I'll cut this in half lengthwise. Then I'll cut strips, and then we'll rotate it and cut little chunks. You know where this is going, right? In the blender, of course, along with everything else. Next up is some red wine vinegar. We're gonna add about three tablespoons here. Next comes some fresh lime juice to brighten things up, and we're gonna squeeze that right into the blender. Man, that smells good. All right, so now let's see what's left. Salt, we've gotta have a little salt to really enhance all the flavors. Now I'm gonna drizzle in about a tablespoon of some nice olive oil. Now I'm gonna add some of this beautiful basil that's been growing in my garden. So I'm gonna take some of those leaves and just tear them off and then we're gonna chop this up a little bit to help out that blender and then whip it up. Usually I stack my leaves nice and neat and roll them up, but I'm just gonna bunch them up and then chop away. Now since I have two Vitamix containers, I filled one with watermelon and the other with all the other veggies. So I'm gonna liquefy the watermelon first. You don't have to have two containers, but you could just mix your watermelon first, pour it in a different container, and then mix up all your veggies and add it to that. Okay, so now let's do the veggies. I'm gonna put that on there and I'm gonna add the watermelon juice to it, and hopefully it'll all fit. I don't wanna overfill this, but we'll just see how much I can get in. If I can get it all, that's great. I almost got it all, but we'll add that in a minute. So if you have this Vitamix, then you're gonna wanna blend this for probably a minute and a half, no more than two because then it'll start heating up your soup and we don't want to do that. The goal here is to get all the veggies liquefied. I did add the rest of that juice at the end. 
it's a good idea at this point to taste your soup to see if you need to add any more salt basically or if you want to add more basil or more of something else you can but now's the time to do it now it's time to get this soup in the fridge and I find mason jars very convenient to use and they're just easy to store so this recipe basically fills two jars which is uh, eight cups so these go in the fridge for at least two to three hours or until they're nice and chilled okay it must be time for chef joke number two here we go why are the mushrooms always invited to parties? Because they're such fun guys. <laughs> so to serve this up, like I said, you're gonna wanna chill your soup at least two to four hours. You want it to be nice and cool. This is a cold soup or overnight, which is what I have here is some from yesterday. So uh, you wanna make sure you stir it or shake it a little bit first because it will separate. And then we're just gonna pour it in the bowl and then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I garnish it up and how I like it. So let me pour some of that in there. You can garnish with pretty much anything you like, whatever your favorites are, but I've been using feta cheese crumbles, avocado cubes, and some pistachios. I got these at Costco, they're great, they're delicious. A little bit salty, a little bit crunchy. It really adds to the dish. But feel free to use anything you like. You could use more uh, chopped up cucumber or tomato. You could do a drizzle of olive oil. You could do a little bit of yogurt. I mean, it's endless, really. So just, you know, do what you like. Let me know down in the comments what you would put on your soup, all right, to garnish it up. I'd love to hear it. All right, let's do that taste test. This is so refreshing, creamy, slightly sweet, yet it has a little bit of a bite from the garlic and brightness from the lime. Delicious. If you'd like to try another refreshing recipe for these hot summer days, try my mixed green salad with lime dressing. It is so good and delicious, you are gonna love it and it's easy to do. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to it and you can check it out. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the like button for me and leave me a comment because I always love to hear from you. And share the video if you think you know someone who might enjoy this delicious recipe. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.